Let's hope it's more than a sorry. We beg for your forgiveness. All right, let's get into it. The fuck is that thing? That's, That's uh, new Sky Giga. Giga. Oh, what That's the heck? Sky Giga? Yeah, the Rhino. That looks weird. How do y'all? How do you pronounce that? Rhino. 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 Rhino Nagtha. Rhino. Nat. Rhino Gnatha. Cool. It's got the word Nat in it. Got it. And Rhino. The Rhino yeah, Nat. There you go. <laughs> rhino Nat. All right. We appreciate your patience as we digested the feedback. Uh, yeah. No I'm sure. I'm sure that feedback was really good. Um. Uh, and consulted with our partners to revise our upcoming plans. As as always, we're very grateful to have such a passionate player base. And we hear and understand your concerns. And outrageous. Yeah. Um, we've decided to make some changes and provide additional information as to why we're taking this approach. So please bear with us as we address some points. Price point and bundle. First things first, we are scrapping the ARC respawn, respawn bundle. Our intention behind this was to provide a package where you essentially got two products for the price of one. In hindsight, not the best move, obviously. Or bad, obviously. <laughs> we recognize how combining ARC Survival Ascended with ARC 2 and requiring further DLC upgrades wasn't optimal. Obviously, especially since you wouldn't be able to judge Arc 2 as no gameplay or content would be available yet. Yep. Yep. Here are our new plans. Okay, this is where it gets spicy. I haven't read this yet, so. Let's oh, see. yeah. Arc Survival Ascended will now be a standalone package released on every platform PC, Windows, Steam, Xbox, and PlayStation at $60. The package will include the following pieces of content built in, not sold separately, with each remastered and altered for the next generation. The island released at launch, Survival of the Fittest, the island and Scorched Earth map variants released at launch, Scorched Earth released at launch. Uh, yeah. Aberration being quarter four of 2023, Extinction quarter one 2024, Genesis quarter one 2024, Genesis two quarter two of 2024. All the community created maps are also to be, are also to be released over time in 2024. Fjordor, Ragnarok, The Center, Lost Island, Valgera, and Crystal House. So okay, now that's already a good start. Yeah. So previously it was ninety dollars for Arc two, all the DLCs, and Arc Ascended. Mm -hmm. Now it's sixty dollars for no Arc Two at all. And you get Arc Ascended, and they took the price tag off the DLCs. Did they though? Because yeah, they of this, put it back onto the. Was it was it forty nine ninety nine in the last one? Yeah, but you got Arc Two. Yeah, that's true. Now you don't get Arc Two at all, and it's sixty dollars. So before it was a total of ninety, pretty much for everything. Now and it's a now total it's of sixty, 60 without arc two. Without arc two, which is just as bad in my opinion. This yeah. it might might be worse. This might be worse because you don't get arc two at all. But they're still charging for the arc one with better graphics. Yeah, that is true. We're rebuying so we arc. You know, Arc Ascension's the game we want to play, at least. Like they said, we haven't seen anything on Arc 2. It could just be dog shit. Suck at this. Yeah. It, yeah I don't know. Just, I'm, not, I'm, really, I'm not happy about the $60. Charging $60 for a game that we already paid for, it's not... That's not fucking cool, in my opinion. I don't know. Charging, for it, charging for it at all is uncool. Well, we think about a lot of the remasters, what they had, like... Uh, Skyrim and a bunch of other remasters that still had the original price tag. Six years uh, like after releasing content in between and Skyrim shit. was developed and fully released. Yeah, yeah and Skyrim exactly. So, yeah, well hopefully it was, this is what we're getting the developed product. Yeah. 
I guess we'll Finally. see. You're right about the remasters. They do, they do do that. They resell the game later yeah, on. Yeah, they talk about it at the bottom. But the the main thing they fucked up on was initially saying that it was going to be free. Yeah, they shouldn't have said that it was going to be free and then charge us. And then another thing, those games that sell remastered editions are they they've made multiple games in between the remastered and the original with this there if there hasn't been a single another game released before they remaster it's like okay here's the original we're gonna sell the remastered the game after yeah i don't i don't know it just it don't seem right that'd be worth it yeah <laughs> like if they do everything right it'll be worth it if not then it's a fuck you Yep, like we said in the last video, if they if they get rid of the cheaters and all that shit, wipe the maps, I think it'll be worth it. As long as they get rid of the cheaters and fix all those problems, yeah. I'll, I'll be fine. Um, no longer a backward compatible free update. Initially, when we had first considered doing an Unreal Engine 5 upgrade, we planned to just port the Switch version of the game and undo the graphical limitations required for that hardware we weren't going to maximize the potential of the new technology we weren't going to introduce new gameplay changes and we weren't going to make critical design changes that would have had an impact on the existing save data what does that mean mm -hmm. well they're pr pretty much they're just making a lot of changes that they didn't plan on making like they were just going to do graphical changes but they actually Plan on doing bug fixes, balance changes, and etc. Gotcha. Shit and that's that just talk, that's just referring to the switch, or is that referring to everything? Uh, everything. Okay. After carefully considering what would be the best outcome for those who enjoy Ark Survival Evolved and would want to continue to enjoy it in the years to come, we decided that our initial plan would not be sufficient. We want to provide you with an evergreen classic arc experience, one that continue to can continue to grow over time on a cleaned cleaned up code base, making sure I mean making use of the new te technological advancements not only in the industry but also in what we were working on with arc 2. Okay. We we weren't trying to mislead you with the earlier comments. Our plans and overall intentions changed. So you're probably asking, why don't we make these upgrades to the original Ark Survival Evolved? Frankly, it would not be viable. Many of the changes we're making in Ark Survival Ascended will touch a lot of aspects of the game. It'll invalidate save data. Some mods may not be functional. Some things may not play the same way as they did before. And we didn't want to change that experience for those who prefer to play for those who prefer it or are unable to upgrade. Okay. This also impacted our decision to sunset the Ark Survival Evolved official network offline on August 31st, shortly before the Ark Survival Ascended launch. What does sunset mean? Like, uh, send like it off to the, the day, sun. I guess. Like okay, so shut it down basically a nice way of saying we're yeah. not, we ain't doing that shit no more that motherfucker dead yeah <laughs> <laughs> despite arc survival of all the officials representing the minority of players on arc it's an invested and passionate group with attachments to their bases teams characters and seeing that go away can't be easy while it's easy as fuck for me like yeah. especially for pvp servers it's a bunch of cheaters and hackers Right. While we know it's not the same, we're hope we're hoping making the saves available for unofficial use helps diminish the loss. Our reasoning behind the decision is that those servers are essentially based on old technology and required significant development resources and time for our teams to operate and maintain. Yes, and it's too pretty much cost too much to keep those running along with the new stuff they're doing. All right, and I don't know what their team was doing to operate and maintain especially on the pvp server the team wasn't doing shit uh, we at literally least from saw an admin tell us that he doesn't do banning people who are using scripts 
<laughs> yeah. Yeah. So what they're getting on to do what? I'm not sure, but it ain't the right shit, at least. In some cases, the issues aren't as easily solvable without an overall upgrade. Additionally, we know that those resources could be better utilized on fundamentally new technology to further enhance the overall game experience for all players. Okay, that's good. Well, Ark Survival Evolved will still be available to play for those who choose to. That includes multiplayer through unofficial slash player hosted sessions, the endless amount of mods on the Steam Workshop, and all the game content as you currently know it. All of that is going to remain, but after eight years of development, we have to, we have to make the difficult decision of sunsetting. I love how they keep using that word, sunset. <laughs> Arc Survival Evolved and the official network in order to provide that tr long, truly long-term and evergreen version of the game through Arc Survival Ascended. Like so, it. yeah, the promise that they're making with Arc Survival Ascended is that it's going to last a s super long time. We'll see about that. Yeah. We'll be sending off Arc Survival Evolved with one final concept update. I mean, content update for our eighth anniversary this June, releasing the fan elected creature, Rhino Net. Rhino Net. <laughs> <laughs> Keep an eye out next week for its dossier. It looks pretty tight, to be honest. Yeah, this is a, a comparison next to a player, I guess. Mm hmm. That's pretty fucking big. Yeah. Uh, I want to see this. This is going to be dope. Yeah, I like the detail of it. Yeah, I'm ready to try that out. All right, get out of the fucking picture. There we go. We plan to support Arc Survival Ascended with new features, including at launch content drops, creatures, items, structures, and DLC. Our roadmap covered some of those planned changes, and we said there would be more. And here's another preview. Dynamic navigation mesh and creature pathfinding overhaul. AI pathfinding. That okay. means the dino's going to fuck you up. Yeah, they ain't going to walk into rocks repeatedly? Is that what this is? Yeah, like they're going to run around shit and come yeah. get you. Yeah, okay. Um, Photo mode, which... I'm not I, sure what that is. I don't know. Could be good for YouTubers at least. Yeah. Um, NVIDIA DLSS, which... Do y'all anybody? Anybody know what the mm. fuck that is? Yeah. Deep learning, super sampling. Okay. Image enhancement, upscaling technologies. So just better overall graphics. Yeah. Pretty much. <laughs> Dino slash baby management quality of life. This should be interesting. That's oh. tight. Yeah. That's Wild that's babies, <laughs> bro. Wild oh, babies. Cool. What? That's cool oh. as fuck. Okay. I, I like the sound of that. Interesting. Not sure how that's gonna work, but I'm curious to see. Yeah. That's that's pretty dope. Wonder, I, honestly. Dope. I wonder if I was gonna fare on the server. Little fucking like, babies roaming around and shit. Huh? Yeah. Go pick them up and finish raising them. Yeah. <laughs> what Ashton? I wonder how it's gonna fare for the servers. Like, as it can the dinos just keep having babies? Can the dinos only have one baby? Yeah, yeah, I don't know if they're gonna, issue that we had. Are gonna have babies or if they're just gonna be spawned babies. Mm. Yeah, do they have to be like mate boosted, like a male and female next to each other in the wild for this to work? How like I don't know. I guess uh, we'll see. Yeah. Snap point improvements, which they mentioned in the last they mentioned in the last patch notes. I'm happy about that. Their building yeah. needed a building system needed a huge overhaul. Oh my god, yeah. does it? Character creation. That's going to be dope. And customization improvements. Yeah, this is going to be nice. I like that too. Cross-platform multiplayer and full blueprint modding. I know we've mentioned this before, but we're serious. It's happening on PC and consoles at launch, and we've got it working internally with Overwolf technology. This dramatically changes the nature of the console experience. I'm sure it does. Uh, and this, super good news for all the console players. Yeah, this makes me wonder, like, is official for console players at least is official even going to be wanting like are players even going to want to play official now that they get to try mods for the first time like most console players have never got to use mods yeah i'm sure that a bunch of them are just going to be wanting to go on some servers and fuck around with it yeah 
comes out. We've already got to experience the whole modding stuff, so like, I, I'm going probably official. Yeah, I'm probably gonna want to play official PvP. All right, that's cool though. At launch, that does mean you heard them. At launch, at launch. that means Orbanjo servers are gonna have mods or potential yeah. mods. Yep. Shout out to Orbanjo's arc. Link will be in the pinned comment and video description. <laughs> Server up. <laughs> what? Server up. Server up. Um. And this list is not exhaustive. We're hoping to get even more done. And the only reason we aren't covering all of those details right now is that we're still working on them. It takes a significant amount of resources and time at the studio. And we don't want to commit to other particular features unless we are sure we can get them in time for launch. And yeah, we may miss our deadline on certain aspects, but they'll come in over time as we continue to support this next generation of art. As long as you don't make promises like the one up here where you say uh modding is going to be here at launch as long as you don't make promises like this and then don't uh release it at launch then we don't give a shit how long it takes that's what they were saying like they don't want to say too much and then have people expect things right yeah which Which is is good they they put that out there right they're finally learning i'm i'm fine with that like that's cool but right here if this if modding doesn't come out at launch you're 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 gonna look fucking bad. It's gonna look Hell. bad for you. Yeah. All right. At the end of the it's day, these are just words, and frankly, may not mean so much. That's okay. We understand what will really convince you is seeing screenshots and the gameplay trailer, and you will in time. We know there are going to be more questions, and we'll be sharing more details over time. We're not quite ready to pull back the curtains just yet, so we hope you'll hang in there with us, survivors. It'll be worth the wait. Oh, uh, yeah. That's I mean, the end of that. How many times have I heard that? <laughs> and is that's that... That's on to some other stuff. The, yeah, the rest of this is just... What is this? Creature, Creature submissions? submissions? Yeah. Let's kick off the first piece of major new content for Ark Survival Ascended, a fan-voted real-world creature... That will launch on day one. Please note that this creature will be released for Scorched Earth, so make sure your real-world submissions are in theme with that. We'll also be adding an additional real-world creature for each subsequent... Canonical. For each subsequent... Yeah, canonical... Can, can, is that how you pronounce it, for real? Canonical. Canonical, yeah. Canonical expansion pack map released on arc survival ascent so every time they drop on a dlc that's already been released they're going to be coming out with a new creature is that what this is saying yeah they're going to come out with a new creature with that that's pretty dope add some freshness to the i like that they're old they're coming out with one they're saying on launch day one yeah right here Uh, day one it'll be a brand new creature too that's That's pretty cool battle game will come in soon (laughs) <laughs> check out the creature submission guidelines for more information all right so this is the submissions and then we'll be able to vote on them later right yeah okay so it's not the voting point yet and this is just, just about the evo event yeah so overall thoughts um well we definitely patched some things up made it not sound nearly as bad Apologize for the right things. Yeah. Still feel like we're paying for their shortcomings, though. To be honest. They also, they did go through it at the bottom and say like their reasoning that they did just plan just to do the version over to E5 instead of now they're doing a pretty much a big overhaul in the game entirely. All right. Yeah. I mean, they weren't really clear at all when they first made their announcements. My thing is, is. This is probably the quickest they've responded to uh, player feedback. Like, usually we can't get another word out of Wildcard after some shit news like they just dropped for months. Yeah. So for them to respond this quick, I'm I'm pretty pleased with that. But uh, for this, the $60 price, I honestly think it's a little much. Yeah. I think 
you know, maybe half of that would be fair. True. Yeah. We've already we've already played this map. We've already played Survival of the Fittest. We've already played Scorched Earth, Aberration, Extinct. We've already played all of this. The only thing that's going to be new is a creature each each map launch and the graphics, of course. But and they are doing like cave changes and other kinds of shit. So yeah. it, they're doing it, it. Will be worth it, you know? They're doing changes. They're... Go ahead. My bad. My bad. Go ahead, Bruno. No, I was just saying. Hopefully, it it is worth it. What they're saying. And if it is, then fine. But if not, you know, slap in the face. All right. Yeah. I think if they deliver, it'll be worth it for sure, in my yeah. opinion. I do think it'll be worth it. But the changes that you're talking about, Bruno, with the cave changes and all that, that should have been done in the original game, bro. Oh, yeah. Definitely. That shit that they should have done a long time ago. Not Not charge for it and then do it. Yeah. But we'll see. Yeah. All in all, I'm just happy that they responded as quick as they did. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, that was... Yeah, that's the first. Yep. They actually touched on the points that everybody was kind of pissed about and put reasoning behind it. Even if it wasn't, you know, the best reasoning, It's they still tried. They improved. Yeah. Even though, like, I, I feel like we're paying for their shortcomings, I... I do feel like they're trying to do the right thing. All right. For yeah. the most part. Yeah, same. So let's see what people got to say about it on Twitter. Zoom in a little bit for the blind people. All right. Let's see. This is where they dropped a community crunch in a tweet. Um, Dodo Dex, the first response. Thank you for the update. Definitely a lot simpler roadmap plan, especially combining all DLCs into a single game. Also, Wild Babies. Yeah, the Wild Babies thing is pretty that's pretty fucking dope, dude. I'm excited yeah. to see that. Definitely. I like this little gift that he put in there. That's, that's <laughs> tight. <laughs> um, good job, everyone. We've held up our standards and Snail slash Wildcard has taken a step in the right direction. Agreed. Yeah. Losing five years of progress still put a dampener on this for me. I don't plan on starting again, so I won't personally be purchasing. Best of luck. See what Arc 2 holds when it releases. This is probably a PvE official player. Um, this is Jad PG. He's a YouTuber. Uh, pay us more, and we let baby dinos run around in the wild. It's not <laughs> ideal. <laughs> you still be in slide, but it's an improvement, I guess. Yeah. It's kind of relatable, to be honest. Yeah. I kind of, I kind of agree. I mean, we've already talked about why it's, why $60 right. is still kind of fucking ridiculous, but we'll move on. Yeah. This person is saying it's still overpriced. Yeah. Which we could, who knows? We could all buy it, hop on the game be like, holy shit, this is fucking dope and completely different. Yeah. You know? like, why, I, was I why was I right. complaining? Why was I complaining? This is dope. Yeah. It, exactly. We don't really know until it happens, but if we're looking at wild cards history, Slash yep. Chanel Games history, you know. Definitely. I have some hope, though. Yeah, I have hope. I have read what you had to say. Still not keen on having a having to pay for a game we all worked hard on in Ark Survival Evolved, but I'll listen and take this a day at a time. I agree. It's not perfect, but this is a lot better. It should really be like $30, which is exactly what I said. About half mm -hmm. of the price that they're asking. But including yeah. all DLC and giving people the choice of not buying Arc 2 is good. I agree. Yep. And all we need now is a trailer for Arc Ascended, and we could see if it's worth the upgrade. Yep. Exactly. Well, a uh, quick shout out to Urbanjo's Arc, unofficial PvP servers. If you want to check those servers out, link in the pinned comment in the video description. But uh, with that being said, that's about it. Pussy boys. <laughs> <laughs> yeah.